please give a warm welcome to writer, director, Tran An Hung. And um, art director and costume designer, Tran Nu Yang. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, um, Tron, uh, when I introduce a film, I mention that there is no music, no soundtrack in the film. The music comes from the birds. It comes from the pots, from the cooking and the sizzling. Can you tell us about <coughs> about? that aspect of your, your choices as a filmmaker? Oh, yes, for me, um, after the shooting of, of uh, the movie, it's always very important for me to work on the sound uh, at the uh, post-production, um, because um, I always, uh, I'm, I'm lucky to have uh, quickly uh, the, the, the image, uh, the picture lock, I, I, I would do it uh, quite uh, fast, uh, to save time for the sound editing, because for me the sound is the, the is the flavor of, of the picture. The picture uh, has uh, its beauty, but uh, the the flavor of it comes from the sound. When the sound is right, then everything is more vivid, and, um, and th that's why it's so important for me. But uh, the fact that uh, because normally I I, I I like using music in film. Uh, for me, it's uh, it's something that is quite marvelous, but for this movie, I I, I feel I, I felt that I, I didn't need it, because after the sound editing, I had the feeling that if I, I I put some music, it would bring something that is a little bit fabricated, and um, because I wanted it to be very real, because of uh, of this um, of of. Uh, uh, gastronomy as an art, and uh, in this movie, I, I like to show everything real. So everything that you see on the screen is real, and uh, everything that we we cook for the um, for the for the film, we we ate it uh, absolutely everything. So uh, uh, even for the for the team for the crew, uh, it was unusual because they they have done some movies with uh, food. But most of the time it's fake, you know, to make it very beautiful, you add some different things uh, in it to make it, to have a different texture, color, everything. But here, for this movie, I, I, I didn't want it um, because it's not about the beauty of, uh, of the food, but it's more about uh, showing men and women at work in that kind of harmony. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that fact that you use the term harmony. I don't, I, I mentioned to you that we rarely see in a film harmony between a couple. We used to see in films drama of people bickering and them falling in love. In, instead, in your film, we see this harmony, this working together, and that's what the movie's all about. Can you tell us about that approach? <clears throat> yes, when, when I, I, I choose um, a, um, a project, it's always uh, somehow uh, I need to see uh, a challenge in, 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 the, in the project. And the challenge for this movie was uh, double. One is how to show um, uh, um, food being made on screen in a different way from uh, uh, what we have seen before. Uh, and the other thing is to make a movie about harmony, meaning that there is no conflict, and uh, it could be uh, really difficult, because it could be uh, boring, it could be not interesting, you know? So how to, to bring this harmony to the audience was the, you know, the main um, uh, challenge for me, uh, how to, to, to be able to, to have this softness and uh, to, to show the quality of uh, relationship in, in, in the movie. But you mentioned the aspect of concern about people being bored. You do the first 40 minutes of this film is watching us 
this meal being cooked, were you ever concerned about the audience being bored for of 40? Of course, of course. I spend a lot of time, you know, for, um, for this part uh, to, to edit it um, uh, because uh, it's, it's, it's not that easy. Um, um, we need to create a, a kind of ballet for that to, to express the, the harmony because uh, Eugenie and Dodin they, they worked together for almost 20 years. So uh, there was a sense of harmony in, in the way they, they work together because they know each other very well. So I need to bring it to the, to the, the audience. So it's, uh, yes, it was uh, difficult. And, but how did you achieve that? I mean, the, there are long silences, tension, suspense, um, yes, it, somehow I, I, I told my my, uh, my the, the crew uh, that uh, this is my car chase scene, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so they so somehow they they understood the the, the idea that we need to spend time and uh, precision and uh, uh, to be uh, you know. So this this was my car chase scene. Yes. <laughs> um, and Tran, your production design and custom design is stunning. Um, can you tell us, one of the things I mentioned to you, the color coding, um, the fact that the clothes in the kitchen are first are pastels, unlike colors. When we go upstairs to the men eating, is darker colors. And then when Julia Binoche has her uh, engagement dinner, it's all yellows. Can you walk us through your color coding pr process? Mm. <clears throat> yes, actually I don't have any code, color code. Uh, I don't work with color code because for me, the color for people have a symbolic, you know, have a symbols. Mm -hmm. And I really don't like to work with symbols because uh, symbols are symbols for everyone. You know what I mean? So it's a code for the society. And for the movie, I think we have to work very specifically just for this movie and to give maybe a, a distinct, a, a, a special symbol that we, we will create for the movie. You know what I mean? So maybe it's... So that's why um, me and my team for this movie, I told them that we should work in black and white for the men. So you can see men mm. in black and white. And for the, um, the banquet, you know, the long banquet in the garden, yeah. it's black and, <clears throat> black and white too. And my assistant, uh, they were concerned about the fact that maybe it could be too similar, that we cannot distinguish, you know, the characters. But for me, I think that this approach um, was interesting in terms of, uh, of pictures. And I think that whom, what, when he, 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 he filmed, um, as a production designer and custom designer, I have to give him the flavor also in, in the image to create something that, like layers after layers, for the audience to appreciate it and to have it printed, you know, in their in in their eyes, uh, as they can, um, you know, keep something back home and to live with this feeling a while. So, um, yeah, I work in this way, and especially in the kitchen, it, exactly what you mentioned, the pastel and these colors, I wanted to have very, you know, um, like pastel colors, just to have the real colors for the vegetables and, and food, and to make it really appealing. So that's why I told my team, you know, we will work in a very fading way. Usually when you do a costume for period movies, for me, sometimes the costumes are too, um, how do you say that, uh, visible. You know, sometimes it's, it's bothering me because 
I can see the costume right away, and it's something that, uh, yeah, I feel, uh, you know, bothered by, by that. So I just wanted to make a, a costume um, period movie with costume, but disappearing, yeah. So it's just to, to make it disappear, so that people can, you know, can, we feel the period, but it's not something obvious. Um, and uh, can you tell us about the, the chateau that you used? The fact that um, we have the upstairs with the downstairs, but seamlessly we go through the different rooms. Exactly. Actually, Hume said at the very beginning, uh, you know, the ballet and car chase. And when Hung and I were looking for a location, this is the main the, the main thing, you know, very important, what you mentioned. How the circulation, how the actors will, will, um, will go from a room to another. So this is something that for whom, um, you know, for his um, setting is very, very important. So maybe you can <coughs> talk about your setting. Yes, it, it was uh, <coughs> important that I, we can go uh, without being in interrupted from one place to, to another place. And uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it gives really this feeling of uh, uh, people being in this place uh, mm. and not, you know, uh, uh, um, not only a, a set. <coughs> That's why um, there was the, 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 that thing was the most important thing. And when we found a place that has these uh, circ circulations, then we, we chose the biggest room uh, to, to build the, the, the kitchen. Mm. Because the, the kitchen of the, 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 the real kitchen of the castle was too small for us. Mm. <coughs> and and um, mm. you, when you filmed this movie, you only used one camera. Um, can you walk us through the choreography of shooting with one camera and the actors are cooking and it's just, it's, it's almost like a ballet of the camera and the actors. Yes, because um, this is uh, related to uh, the idea of editing um, because um, uh, most of, of the, the, the directors, they, they film a lot with different angles so that uh, later they have uh, choices for the editing. I don't like choices for the editing, yes. <laughs> I, I, I would like to have the, the, the one uh, unique vision and I have to bet on it because it's very dangerous. Because if it's, it's, it doesn't work, then uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite a problem. Um, but for me, it's, uh, it's important and it's related to the way I'm working, uh, meaning that I never prepare uh, a scene, um, except for this movie, I, I prepare the, the, the long scene of, of the beginning. But for the rest, uh, I would come in the morning and then I, I look at, uh, you know, the, 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 the plays and the, the actors in their costume, and then I know how to, to shoot the scene. And it's, uh, when, when, when I shot it, and wh when it's done, uh, it's done. I, I mean, I, I would not, <clears throat> try to, to, to shoot again with another angle uh, so that we can edit or something. But did the actors mm -hmm. know where the camera was going to be? Did you choreograph the, the beats or it was all? Uh, uh, in fact, no. Um, they, um, <clears throat> what I like is that um, I, I, I would know how, how they, they will move in the, in the, in the set and then I put the track and I said, okay, now do what you have to do. Move around, doing what, and with the camera, we will uh, try to catch you in, in, in a certain way. And that's it. That's how we But work. actually for the first scene, you know, this, the scene that you talked about, it was very precisely prepared because you have <coughs> you work with your assistants. Yes, yes. And, and the... Um, the setting was very was very precise. Yes, so it, it's precise, but it's not that precise because uh, um, we I I'm, I rehearsal mm -hmm. I rehearse with uh, 
with the, my assistants, and then we show it to the, the actors, and then they would come in and they would do it, and we, I, I, I would say roll, and then we shoot it, uh, um, <clears throat> and and it's uh, it's uh, and then we 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 adjust uh, each time, take after take, to have something precise. Mm. Wow. Because I, I don't want to to bother the, the 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 actors, and I would like them also to to discover things with me uh, as we are making it. Mm. Um, there is such specificity in the design. Um, I was fascinated with the the when they're cooking the turbo. There is a. a, a a cooking, you know, what do you call it, a vase, where she puts the turbo in shape like the turbo. It's Is that Bautier. something that you researched? And no, actually, turbotière, the, 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 uh, I mean, the, the plate, the plate yes. it's called tur turbotière, like the, <laughs> the fish turbo. Mm. And the turbotière is something, um, you know, at that time, uh, very common for like a rich family. So now it disappeared because turbo is so expensive. So you know the fish. So nobody will cook a, 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 a whole turbo. So it disappeared. But at that time, it was very quite common. You know, in but it was family. hard. For, you had to research. And I actually, we had. Um, uh, I mean an issue just six days before the shooting, who called me, and I was wrapping, you know, my costume. For two, I had two days left, and he called me, and he said, you have to go to, go to, to the come. castle to, to come right now, and it's at two hours or three hours from train from Paris, and um, he said, because uh, <coughs> there's some, yes, something happening with the prop master, and you have to go to come, so I came, and uh, uh, there's uh, plenty of things in your props and, and everything for a movie, but it was not our movie. And um, I could only pick up in um, like thousand and thousand things, 20 things, and, uh, and that's it. So during six days, I have to run over the place in, in Paris to find what you saw. In the movie, so so I I, I used to say that um, um, in terms of continuity, there's a lot of mistakes, but it's not mistakes because we couldn't do it, you know, better because we do not have everything to shoot, and um, so if you see the movie one time again, just make sure that. <laughs> <laughs> and to the two of you, the specificity of the moment where they're having the the little chickens and they put their napkins, uh -huh. was that in the in the novel that you based the book on, or is that based on your research? No, no, no. It was not uh, in the novel. It's uh, something that I, I wanted to show because uh, somehow <clears throat> uh, we have uh, two sources of. Uh, um, sensuality in our life. It's a food and sex. So here there is something like that, you know, you have to hide a little bit. And, and the, the reason uh, um, for, for that, it's only uh, because you would like to keep all the, the, the smell of it, you know, so it's... That's it, not it a common escape. practice, that's it's something... Common. Yeah, oh, yes, it it's is. in the south, south, southwest of France. They used to eat this bird like that. So normally, you have the bird, and then uh, uh, you have to put the whole bird in your mouth. And uh, to, to be able not to burn yourself, you put it on your cheek like this. And then uh, when you can uh, stand it, then it's, uh, it's not uh, too hot. Then you put the whole, mouth, uh, your, the whole bird in your mouth, and you chew it. So sometimes, you know, something would come out. It's, it's not uh, that, uh, you know... Uh, uh, nice, so that's why you have to hide yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, 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 so I saw in the credits that Pierre Gagnier was your advisor throughout the film. Can you tell us about his involvement? And he also, Pierre Gagnier, is it's in the film. You know, yes. he's the the uh, the chef 
yes, for the, the prince. prince. Yes. Um, it, first, he's a, a very nice man. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy. Yes. Yes. I'm very, 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 very lucky to to have to work with him. Um, he's so generous, and uh, uh, and so I, I can see the. Uh, in fact. <coughs> What we did is that d during the, 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 the script writing process, I work with a historian to be sure that everything that I choose for the menu was right for the period. And then uh, I check it with Pierre Gagnier, and he said, okay, this is nice, this, no, I, I don't think so, so we, we should find something else. And then we build another, uh, another menu, and then he spent five days cooking for me, I mean for us. And we have to taste everything, of course, because it need to be it need to be good. If it's not good, you would know it, you know, on the screen. So. Um, and you so, both look so skinny, and yeah, like yeah, you yeah. haven't gained any weight. There, there was a, 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 a there's a, a famous uh, um, cook, and he, he 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 did a book, and his the title is "Don't Trust a, a Skinny Cook." Yes. <laughs> but because he's very skinny. <laughs> um, throughout your film, characters stay in an elegant manner. Um, we don't see hugs. We don't see kisses. We don't see anger. Um, everybody stays just in a harmonious, elegant manner. Can you tell us about? Yes, I think that it's, uh, it, it came from... <clears throat> From Eugenie's uh, character, because uh, um, she she she, she loved uh, um, Dodin, but at the same time she would like to keep her her freedom, so she need she needed to to create some distance with him, and this distance uh, made the beauty of uh, of their relationship, uh, I think, and uh, and because of that, uh, everything in the movie has to go in the in the same the same way. With the other uh, actors, and um, um, she um, um, she knew that she she's going to die, and and then um, she managed uh, even um, she managed to to give him a daughter before going, you know, yeah. with Pauline. Yeah, um, the apprentice. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's it's very beautiful, like you know, as a, a relationship. Mm -hmm. Trent, um, one of the most stunning sequences in my book is the, the, the engagement lunch, you know, where he talks about the autumn days, and it's such a beautiful table, and the design, and the costumes. Can you tell us about putting that scene yeah. together? It was, I, it was I, her idea, yeah, the long actually, table. Yeah, actually, the long table, who and uh, the DOP wanted to have something like a, um, the shape, a U-shape, you know, so it will, would be more maybe convenient to embrace, you know, everyone on one shot. Or, and um, I thought that um, it would be more uh, s s stronger to have like one straight line and to have a back of all these men in, in, in black and white. And I totally agree, but why why did you feel so strongly about the long line? Because it's not usual. It's uh, it's quite unusual to have a line like this, yes, long it, it, like it, it this. It allowed uh, Dodin to walk, yeah, and to walk. you know, to and walk uh, while he's talking. So and we can see him, you know, walking like this, you know, from mm -hmm, one mm -hmm. to another. And I used to say to my team that we are not doing a documentary. Because um, the references that we had at that time, we had a lot of U-shaped tables for this kind of banquet. Um, <clears throat> so I think that in movies, what we really want to have is an impact, you know, mm -hmm. emotional impact or visual impact. And we are not, we can, you know, be, um, we have to be close to the reality of this time, but we are not doing documentary. So mm -hmm. I think that we have to deserve, to ha not to deserve, to serve uh, Hung's um, emotion that we, he, he, he wants to give to the scene 
And in this scene, Dudin has a beautiful um, di monologue that Hung wrote. And I think that the accent had to be in you know, the words and the dialogues of Dudin. So that's why I really wanted to have something simple, like a straight line, and to see Dudin going back and forth. Amazing choice. Uh, yes, Jian K has a, a very good eye because um, <clears throat> um, um, her, her, her work uh, didn't finish um, when we start shooting. In fact, wh when we, we shoot the, the movie, I, I, I'm behind the, the monitor and she's always next to me. And while I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm dealing with actors and a camera, uh, she would see everything in the in the frame, and then would go and um, and, and 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 fix everything, so that it's uh, it, it give this uh, feeling of uh, of harmony of something that is uh, 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 that is um, uh, I don't know right because for us <coughs> we never look for the for the beauty. Uh, we we said to each other that um, it's important to be right. And when you are right, then you get the beauty. And uh, um, for me, as a, a filmmaker, it's the same thing with poetry. I never shoot a scene trying to make it uh, poetic uh, because I don't believe it. <coughs> I think that if you, you, you try hard um, to do poetry, you, you will, uh, um, it, it, will, uh, it will be seen. You know, it's uh, it. Um, uh, so uh, if uh, everything is well done, then you can hope for the po uh, poetry to come, as uh, you know, a, a cherry on the cake. Um, That's beautiful. Yeah. If, if you're aiming to do something beautiful, um, it's for me it's decorative. So it's not, it's not true. You know, it's not. It's something it superficial, and it's it's fake. So, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that if you're you're doing something just because you want it to be beautiful and to add this and this and this, then it's something that it's not. Uh, I'm I'm sure that the audience will feel it. You know that it's not something uh, authentic um, uh, on the characters too. Yeah, I, and on the same vein, the, you use long takes. Um, which illustrates what you're talking about. Can you tell us about your your choice of doing long takes? Mm, yes, I think that the, the long takes um, it's a way to uh, uh, to slow down the, the pace and to give the audience the time to be um, a kind of writer uh, mm. because he, he would have time to formulate several things in his mind. You know, and be becoming somehow someone who create at the same time as the, the film, you know, mm -hmm. because he, he would have time to say, oh, uh, formulate some some ideas about uh, about his feelings and etc. So that's why it's important for me to give the right the the real real time with the long text. But you succeed, and you succeed in. My question is, were you ever concerned about losing the audience? You did not lose our, us uh -huh. in this film. For 40 minutes, we watch the cooking. But were you ever concerned, like, oh my goodness, mm. for 40 minutes, I'm going to have to hold the attention of the audience? Yes, be, um, of course, be, because uh, uh, it's, it's a very long process, you know, making a movie. So you have different steps. And uh, and these uh, in these moments you you can have some doubt, uh, and but then you have to trust something inside of you, and uh, <clears throat> and you make it like like you 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 want it like this because it's difficult, and then uh, at the end uh, I know I know that I I I, I, I did something that is uh, right, and uh, and then for me it becomes a gift to the audience. And I, I'm sure that it's, uh, um, it's there. And, and of course, some people would not like it because they, they are used to something else. Uh, and they like something else. So it's not a problem. But 
for 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 the audience who, who really like something that is uh, quite uh, specific, a little bit different, uh, then I know I knew that it's there, and and it's uh, completely there, and um, and e even um, I'm, I'm sure that um, um, the audience cannot miss what I put in the movie. They like it or not, they know how to deal with it, how to put it in words. It's another problem. It's uh, you know, but I mm -hmm. know that they have felt what I put in the movie. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, bless you. It's amazing. Um, I, I do have to wrap it up, and I have so many questions. But casting Juliet and Benoit, um, they, they were a couple be in the past. And, and, you know, tell us about casting them and the dynamic of casting this, you know, couple that used to be, but... Uh -huh. <clears throat> From the be beginning, I, I wanted to have Benoit and Juliette. Juliette was there uh, from the beginning, but then I wanted to have Benoit. I knew that they have, they had this, uh, you know, uh, they, they were a, a couple uh, 20, 25 years ago, and they, they had a daughter. Have a child, yeah. Yes, they had a daughter together. And um, I, I also knew that they, they didn't make a movie together for, for more than 20 years. So I was uh, quite anxious uh, about this, and uh, especially because uh, at the beginning I told um, Juliette that I would like to have Benoit, and she said, mm, I don't think so. I think that, you know, he, he, he would uh, refuse to, to be in the movie with me. Uh, <clears throat> and then I have to wait until uh, the very last moment. And then, without telling her, I, I go to see him and I said, Here's the the, um, the the I mean the script. Uh, Juliet is in it. Uh, would you read it? He said, "Of course." And then he he, he uh, <clears throat> overnight he called me the next day and he said, "I'm in." Then I'm, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I, I told Juliet, and Juliet said, <laughs> "Wow, are you sure?" <laughs> uh, he said, "It is going to be difficult, you know." Uh, yeah, I said, "Okay, Juliet." You said it's going to be difficult. What do you mean? Tell me now. You know? And she said, you'll see. <laughs> and, and, and so the, the, the first uh, week of the shooting, I was uh, very nervous. But then uh, after a week, uh, it was uh, marvelous. And I, I wanted to have a lunch uh, each um, uh, once a week with, with them, both of them and me. Uh, so the first time, Benoit came very late. He ate for, uh, in 10 minutes, and then he left. So I, I couldn't make another lunch uh, le uh, later. You know, it, it was uh, the only time for, for the whole movie. But <clears throat> in, in the movie, there was two moments that, was, uh, uh, that were co quite uh, amazing. Uh, one is um, uh, the, 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 the end. The, end the omelette. No, the, the end ending scene. Oh, uh, you know when, when he, she asked him if uh, uh, she's a cook or a wife yeah. for him. Okay. So the the, the 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 shot is very complex because we have to change the light in direct to change the the, the all the props the the and the decoration. Everybody was running everywhere, you know, to do this. <clears throat> and then at the end, he said, "You you're my cook." And he add, and my wife, and said, Benoit, are you crazy? Come back to this. Uh, you change the meaning of the of the, the the ending. Come back to the you know the, oh. the 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 your line in the script. And he walked to me, and uh, with a smile, and he said, I'm sorry, I was lost in her eyes. Oh. Because he's uh, someone who uh, he's that kind of actor who really play and try to see you know to connect profoundly with the, so maybe he saw something in her eyes, you know, that say, tell me that I'm, I'm your wife, <laughs> somehow, you know, then he said it. And the other scene was the, this scene where <clears throat> you see them walking uh, in, 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 in this me meadow, and, uh, <clears throat> and, and then suddenly she turned around and kissed him. When, when she kissed him, and then I, I said, cut. He ran to me and he said, 
was it in the script that she has to kiss me? Or you told her to kiss me? I said, no, uh, you know, she, she's the actress, she, she's the char character. You know, I, I, I didn't ask anything. But, but it was not r written, right? I said, no, no, of course not. It's her, her idea. And then he said, but, but then uh, now we are going to do another take. Will she kiss me? I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And Fran, I, I want you to have the last word. This movie is about, it's a love story about people working together. And you are working together with your husband. What was it like for you to make this love story? Yeah, actually we've been working together for 33 years now. And uh, yes, at that time I was... Uh, <laughs> Well, that's cool. I was 17, and he he was looking for an actress for his um, short movies. And after two short movies, we did The Scent of Green Papaya together. And since, we're, we're still working together. So I think that it's more, this movie is uh, about a love story, about couple, but I think also about friendship, about caring, not only about love. And I think that caring is something that particularly really touched me a lot in this movie. Because um, um, I think it's, yeah, the core of uh, humanity, you know, to care about, you know, your parents, your friends. And so that's why I think that this, this movie, beyond, you know, love, couples, is really about f friendship, about uh, women too. I think that whom uh, all his in all his movie, uh, women uh, have a very special place, and I was very proud and very happy to be in four of uh, his movies uh, as an actress, and I, uh, I I'm sh I'm sure that in this movie too. The uh, Eugenie, uh, played by Juliette, she's a very modern and strong, uh, you know, image of woman, and I, 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 I feel that uh, who did something very um, subtle because it's it's, n it's not something uh, you know obvious. Um, the characters are defined ver very specifically, but which are very subtle, um, in a very subtle way. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm that, that is something that I really like when I work with Hoon, because when we work together, we never talk. We, before, uh, when he's uh, doing, uh, writing the script, um, I, I read the last version, and then, so we can, you know, just talk at that time. But from the time uh, when he finished is the, the the last version and the first day of shooting, I never read the script again because I don't want to be exhausted, you know, by the script to keep the freshness. And then uh, and then he gave me carte blanche, as we said in France. So the very freedom for my creativity. And so this is something that could be stressful for me because he never come to the set before the day of the shooting. And he never see anything before the, the first day of shooting. So it's very a big challenge for me. But we know each other for a very long time. And now I think that he trusts me. <laughs> so that's why I feel more, more and more comfortable. Well, it's so inspiring to hear the two of you and what an amazing film and thank you so much thank you for being thank here you. for thank coming you. Yeah, congrats. thank you Roger. thank you very much thank you everybody